Jürgen Klinsmann joins us. Jürgen, you've been writing about the role of the number nine and how it has evolved over the last 20 years. Just break that down a little bit for us. Well, I think it's a really interesting topic, you know, to, to look at the Haaland's, the Lewandowski's and the Lukaku's of the world, you know, how they kind of fulfill their role as a number nine, but also to look at coaches, how they utilize the number nine. And you see coaches like Pep Guardiola, that has a bit the, the Johan Cruyff influence in him, where he kind of has always floating pieces around and sometimes don't even play with a number nine at, at Manchester City or in the teams that he was previously. So, so I, th I find that discussion really interesting because a Lewandowski and a Haaland, for example, or Lukaku, they really live off the deliveries of their teammates around them. And obviously in, at Bayern Munich, for Lewandowski, that, that pipeline runs through Thomas Müller or for, through a Nagri or a Sané. And he knows he gets three, four chances a game and then he puts at least two in there. <laughs> so, and then a similar role is, is Haaland. So that's the traditional number nine. But mm. we saw over the years now evolve different systems, utilizing the forwards in a different way. Um, so they need to have far more qualities than just, you know, to finish off and, and put it in the back of the net. And, and I thought also what is interesting in it is, is, is the relationships that these um, forwards have with their coaches. And you can see it especially in the relationship Antonio Conte and Lukaku. He wanted Lukaku uh, so badly at Inter Milan. And, and it proves now right because, you know, he helped him through difficult times. You know, um, he's not the perfect, perfect uh, uh, technical strikers, but he's very powerful. Um, obviously, he's always dangerous for gold. But you can see those relationships then over uh, a period of time evolve and, and, and turn into big success. And then from the other angle of that, you've got someone like Firmino at Liverpool who isn't, is completely not your traditional number nine, but has been so important to their success. Exactly, and that's the other example. Then you have these number nines that maybe in the beginning of their careers, they were just kind of focused uh, to get into the box and make a difference in score. But they, over time, influenced by the coaches that they had, they turn into more, uh, um, more of, of, yeah, they, they just put more things into their back pocket in terms of they, they start to be able to go to the left side to the right side to roam around. They pull out the defenders, especially the center backs, to open up some holes. Um, and so they become a, a lot more flexible in their way of playing. Um, but in that moment, then he, uh, Firmino maybe doesn't score the amount of goals he would, he would score if he was purely playing as a nine. Um, because in some situations, he's not in the box when a goal happens. Um, so then these type of strikers, these floating number nines or a seven, a 11, so these, these, they, they are not necessarily there just to, or being measured by goals. They're also being measured by assists or having an influence on an overall flow of the game. Would you have enjoyed playing in those sort of setups? Um, I mean, I was kind of more um, a, a player that enjoyed, you know, the link up with my teammates. We played mostly with two strikers those days. You know, I had in the national team Rudy Fuller as my partner in club teams. I had in England Teddy Sheringham or in Italy I had Aldo Serena. So I had great, great uh, teammates or partners with me in those. Um, but it, the, the roles were clearly defined, you know, when you play with two forwards. Nowadays, those roles are, are defined in a way that, you know, the left winger can play on the right side, the right one on the left side, or even in the middle. Um, you know, if they invented uh, uh, 15, 20 years ago, or they moved towards to have on the right side more left-footed player that can come inside, mm. talking about Salah, for example, and can always hit the people with his amazing left foot, or Arjen Jorben did that over 15 years in his career uh, wonderfully. So these roles, they changed. The characteristics of those roles changed. And then it depends, really, it depends on the managers themselves, what they prefer, um, and getting the most out of the players that they have. And uh, so they define, at the end of the day, the role of the strikers. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.